Good morning guys. I haven't vlogged in forever. Um, basically I want to do an update but I think I'm going to do an update when I get home because it's currently 25 past 9 and I have to leave in 5 minutes. I have a wedding job so I can't be late for that so I'm going to be a little bit early and yeah I'm just packing my stuff up. Um, yeah a lot has been happening like a lot but I think I'm going to sit down and talk to you guys when I get home. And once I finish, I need to um, put my socks on. And I got this hoodie from Sarah, and I really like how it just stands up. Like, it's not a floppy hoodie, it's got a really nice shape here. And it was um, $15.99, which I thought was quite good because other shops um, are doing hoodies at similar price. And I just thought that this one was actually quite nice. It's really cold, so I'm gonna wear it with my purple jacket. I put this on Instagram last night. Because last night I went out for dinner with my friend and it was really... Oh, there's my dog. There's coffee trying to eat the camera. Yeah, I'm just going to wear it with my purple jacket because it's really cold outside. I have a t-shirt underneath as well. And basically I put this on Instagram last night because I went out with my friend for dinner. Um, it was really cold last night so I put this on. So many of you flooded my DMs asking me where it was from. Obviously people who follow me on Instagram might not follow me on YouTube. So I'm guessing that a lot of people probably haven't seen my video about um, Autumn Hall um, where this jacket was featured but yeah this is the Uniqlo short jacket I decided to keep this one because it just flattered me a lot more and the other one was way too big so because it doesn't have a hood what I like doing is wearing a hood underneath so if it does ever rain I do have some sort of cover and yeah I really like this it's a nice um, shape and also um, I don't know, puffer jackets are quite a tricky one. I think because it's lightweight down, it's really warm, but it's really thin, so it doesn't have that big puffy thing. Like if I pat it, it actually goes flat, so it's not too puffy. But yeah, this is what I want to say. Um, need, to, need to leave now, I'll see you in a bit. To quickly show you my outfit, I have the hoodie on, Uniqlo puffer jacket, Gucci, um, round disco bag um, just some black skinny jeans because it's my kind of like uniform and then my black manga boots on comfy and casual but also kind of like put together so I've just finished doing a job and now I'm stuck in traffic <laughs> really heavy traffic I'm in North London I think I'm near like Shepherd's Bush but I'm not really sure because I I've never driven down here before. I'm just kind of following my Google Maps and the um, traffic is really bad today. So it's kind of like rerouting me to shortcuts and you know places that I've never been before. And um, basically I'm on my way back um, to pick up Aiden. Uh, my friend's daughter is turning four. So she's um, having a fourth birthday party and I did promise Aiden that I would go with him but obviously I couldn't because I had to work um, so Aiden's dad has taken him but then Aiden's uh, dad needs to go to work later so the plan was for me to meet them there and then I pick up Aiden from the party but because of the traffic I'm not sure if I'm gonna even make it anymore I thought I'd be like half an hour early but then now I'm going to be like half an hour late so I uh, actually hate London traffic so much but yeah the job went really well it was amazing because um, she used me for her wedding back in September and this is her second ceremony so she asked me to do her hair and makeup again so it's like nice to like see a client again and I think this is the right way, 0.3 miles. Yeah, it's saying it's gonna take me about an hour, which is a long time. And I think I know where I am now. I think it's taking me through London. So, um, yep, it did end up taking me through London, the central part where you have to pay emissions. So I'm gonna have to pay emissions now. <laughs> um, that's my fault though, because I put in the address um, of the party instead of something else and the address of the party is more towards London so it makes sense that it's telling me to go through London but at the same time I did want to avoid it um, but now I'm like driving past Euston and I'm like it's too late 
more do you like at Euston King's Cross? I'm um, definitely in central London now. And the traffic's not as bad here. Um, but, oh, I shouldn't have said that. You know when you say something and then actually it gets worse? You kind of jinx yourself. And I don't have any wood to touch. <laughs> I think this is wood. Touch wood. Please traffic, just <laughs> yeah. But he'll be happy to see me. He was moaning this morning because he wanted to go with me um, to the party. But obviously, that couldn't happen. So yeah. Random fact, I'm just, I've just driven um, past Madame Tussauds and um, I've never ever been to the Madame Tussauds in London. Like whenever I go to another European country and they have like a Madame Tussauds or something or even in like Hong Kong or something, then I make the effort to go. But the one in London, never ever been. Hey guys, so I just got home. I actually made it to the party um, with 10 minutes to spare. I was like 10 minutes towards the end so i just made it so i picked up little aiden and apparently he won quite a lot of prizes did you aiden yeah win prizes what for oh. games. playing games party games yeah. yeah he won um three books and he's also got a ad chocolate advent calendar as his um little kind of like party bag paper let me just pop you on there so i can take my coat off um yeah so a couple of my other friends um went there as well and a friend of mine is now coming with her husband and two kids and because they didn't <coughs> there they are Aiden's just here playing with his little friends with all of his toys coffee with us. I'm going to get my own secret. Yeah. Okay, you can take off the book. Because it's actually really cold outside, but it's sunny. So I want to make the most of the weather because I know that for the next five days or week, it's just going to be full of rain, isn't it? Mummy. Yes? Guess what? What? Spiders. Mummy doesn't like spiders. You do. Do you like spiders? Yeah. Spiders! <laughs> <laughs> I, I do say spiders. Come then, chop chop. Why? Because what? we need to get changed yeah. to go get some yummy lunch. Mummy. We need a winner winner chicken dinner. Yeah. We <laughs> need a chicken dinner. Get that food. Get that baguette. <laughs> Why are you giving it? Yeah, they must have got Tana. Yeah, why are you giving it? Yeah, I don't know. Um, yesterday we went to a photo shoot um, with Aiden. Uh, me and his dad took him. And you were such a good boy, wasn't you? Where? At Ying San San Yeah. For the photo shoot, it's basically for Asta. Um, go there. Asta World Book Day. So next year, I think it's end of February. I think end of February or beginning of March um, when it's World Book Day. Yeah, um, and I'm going to go and take a tiger. Oh yeah, you was a tiger, wasn't you? Huh? Actually, no, you wasn't a tiger, you was a lion. You were Simba. He had to wear a Simba costume and also Bing. You like Bing, don't you? Yeah, so, that's um, my favourite. I gave Bing. You like Bing. So when it's World Book Day, um, Hopefully we'll see Aiden's face in Asda stores throughout the UK. Yeah. High five. Oh, you're too slow. Oh, Coffee wants to play too. Come on, let's go get Coffee's lead. Coffee's lead. Where's in the car? It's not in the car, it's in the drawer. What car? Let's see No. Let's see the I need, I need mommy help. Just making sure Coffee does a wee before we go into the restaurant. Just found a little grassy area, it's quite nice here. And also I'm so glad that the groomers got our um, groom date mixed up because it means she's still got all of her fur. So I'm hoping she's warm. 
Do you think coffee's cold? Yeah. But she's got lots of dog fur. Yeah, um, groomers have been changed until next week. They did them, they cocked it up. <laughs> what are you going to eat? <laughs> This is my lunch. I got um, gammon steak I with like eggs. Do you like that? Do you want that one? Wait until it cools down then because it might be a little bit hot now. And I've got chips. Um, they've messed up Aiden's order. They've got it wrong. So basically, they have to redo it. And you have to wait now. Wait until your, your food comes out, Aiden. And you can eat it together, okay? I know you're hungry. I just wanted to sit down and do a little update on what's been going on in my life. I feel like I hardly ever do this. I don't usually do this. And this is something that I want to do more in my vlogs and that is just sitting down and talking to you guys about general chit chat. Um, so yeah, as you can tell that like from my videos, I haven't been vlogging too much. Um, that was just because several reasons. I was ill for two weeks and then when I got better, Aiden was ill for 10 days. So you think of it, that's nearly like a whole month of me and Aiden being ill. And honestly, when oh, times are hard when Aiden gets ill because it means he just has to stay at home with me and he doesn't go to nursery and that means I just hardly get the time to vlog and when he's ill and when I am ill I'm just not in the mood for vlogging like I have to be in the kind of right mind and mood to do vlogging. Vlogging isn't something that comes to me naturally like it's not something that I can just like oh switch on the camera and talk about random stuff or my life even though I've been doing it for years and years like it still takes practice so this is something that I really want to do more and just like sit down update you guys on what's been happening in my life and all that kind of jazz so yeah I've been going to quite a few events we've been ill um, on top of that I've been looking for schools for Aiden, Aiden 10 for he had his fourth birthday which I didn't vlog because he was actually quite he wasn't grumpy but he wasn't in the mood because he, that was the week when he was ill so sadly for his fourth birthday all of the plans that I did plan got cancelled and all he wanted to do was stay at home and play with his toys but he did have an amazing time and for some reason I feel like as soon as he turned four he suddenly became a different person, not a different person altogether, but it's almost as if he knew he was a year older and that he had to act a little bit older because he acts so much more like a little man these days. And the things that he comes out with and says, like it honestly makes my day, it makes me laugh so much. And he's, really, he's becoming really independent and yeah it's just really nice to see him grow up and see his personality come out more and he's also a lot more um he knows what he wants so if he doesn't like something then he'll just tell me no and i'm just like okay then and then sometimes he'll correct me so if i say something like um I don't know, I can't think of an example off the top of my head, but he just corrects me all the time now and he's such a smart little guy. Um, I'm happy that he's still, he's still really obedient, he still listens and you know, he's, he's really, really affectionate, um, which I don't know, I don't know, he's still quite clingy. He's such a mummy's boy and oh uh, yeah, um, a few days ago he also had a photo shoot as well. Um, the thing with his modelling is it gives me a lot of anxiety because the thing with modelling is they send you the location maybe the night before the shoot and you don't know if it's going to happen or not and then when they send you a location you've got to plan for the next day like what time you have to wake up and normally they're quite early and then you have to travel during rush hour so it kind of gives me a lot of anxiety and there's a few times where I was like, okay, so I got him into modeling because I wanted him to get out and about and meet more people, be in different environments because he was quite a shy, kind of to himself kind of boy. And I thought that was because he was just always with me and um, 
we do see like friends and family but it's never for, for like a long period of time and I just wanted him to get out and about a little bit more and you know be in different environments meet people that he's never met before and yeah so that's the main reason why and um for the past few shoots it's been okay but then this shoot he the night before the shoot he said he didn't want to do it so then I was like okay let's go tomorrow and if you don't want to do it anymore that's fine like my whole point of doing it was for him to enjoy it and to just like meet more people and be around children a little bit more um but actually he was fine his dad came with us and I think because his dad was there he was less clingy and it actually went really well so every time he has a shoot I'm like okay this could be the last shoot that you do or you go on like if you don't want to do it next time that's fine we're not going to go we're not going to do it anymore but then he does really well and I'm just like oh maybe I'm just thinking too much into it and I'm just stressing myself out basically and then on top of that like I said we've been looking at schools he starts next September so I have to apply um, by January but I want to apply before December so I can get it out of the way with so we've been to see two schools now and I'm in the process of looking for a third one um, but the two schools are the ones that I really want him to go to and the third option is just going to be a backup in case he doesn't get into either of those two so Christmas is on the way like Christmas is everywhere now in the shops like I just came back from um, going to exchange a pair of boots for Aiden in Sarah and oh my gosh the queue was long so long that I just gave her a pal just like okay I'll come back another day I'll just go a little bit earlier on like a Monday morning or something when there's um, not gonna be a queue because I was not gonna wait like half an hour 45 minutes in a queue just to refund something um, but anyways on the talks of Christmas I was sent this Kiehl's advent calendar which is sadly I'm pretty sure has sold out now but it's my first ever Kiehl's advent calendar I'm so grateful for the girls for the PR team for sending this over to me because Kiehl's is the ma uh, makeup brand Kiehl's is the um, kind of skincare brand that I use religiously it's not a brand that I sometimes use and then sometimes forget about and I sometimes come back to. It's a brand that I'm always using something of theirs, whether it's the Midnight Recovery Oil or the Facial Cream or the Face Wash. There's always something that I'm using from Kiehl's. So when they sent over this advent calendar, I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm so grateful. As you can see, it's so pretty. It has this little pop-up. What is that? It's, oh, it's kind of like a school... Christmas kind of thing and then there's 25 um, days and I'm so excited to open this I don't know if I should open this in a video and do an unboxing on Instagram or whether I should just um, save it for December and open it as it should be opened throughout December I'm still on the fence about vlogmas I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it or not um, I might just do like weekly vlogs weekly vlogmases because i don't want to put too much stress on myself december is already kind of like a busy period and i have so much to do and sort out so i don't know if i want to put that kind of stress on myself and promise you guys that i'm going to do vlogmas and then not fulfill it so i'll keep you updated on that but yeah i have to appeal advent calendar which i'm so grateful for and i love also i went to jigsaw press day last thursday and um, upon leaving they kindly gifted me this black crop bag oh my gosh look at this bag when i was walking around the uh, showroom i actually saw this bag and i was like that is so pretty like i can totally see myself wearing this because i was looking at quite a few mock crop bags and then when i saw this in the goodie bag i was just like oh my gosh so it's this crossbody mock crop bag and it's quite a boxy um, shape which I like it's really structured and yeah it's oh I just love it so much it's gonna be a really great everyday bag and because it's black mock rock it goes with any outfit and on the subject of mock rock I bought two pairs of shoes first of all if you follow me on Instagram you might have seen already um, also if you don't follow me on Instagram then um, I would suggest you follow me on Instagram not because 
I want you to follow my Instagram but that's where I genuinely post every single day of my life and in stories like what I'm up to and then I post my outfits and my makeup details on Instagram so if you want to find out like fashion, beauty, lifestyle kind of stuff then my Instagram is like where you'll find more than my videos. My videos are just general hauls, life, lifestyle, day-to-day -day life but if you want to see like specific kind of like makeup that I'm using lately or outfits that I'm loving that Instagram is the place um, to go. Um, I bought these mock rock boots from ASOS. I bought these when ASOS was doing that flash sale they were doing like 20% off so these I think were meant to be £35 and then I got 20% off so I got them for like £28 I think and they look so much more expensive. I honestly would say that these are on par with boots from like Jigsaw, Reese kind of things that don't look like high street at all. They look a lot more expensive. They look a bit, little bit shiny right now because I've got the ring light on but in real life they're not as shiny, they're more matte and the pointy toe, the size of the heel, the shape, I just love these so much and they're really flattering and also they're really comfortable. Um, even though they're a pointy toe, they're not like restricting or tight or anything, they're really comfy. In an on the same subject of mock rock, I went to TK Maxx because I was looking for, I can't remember what I was looking for, I was looking for something in TK Maxx and I came across these in the sale section. These were £16 and I was like, you know what, these are so nice and for £16 I really can't pass up on them. Um, the these, again, mock crop boots, really similar to these ones, but they're a lot lower. And what I liked most about these were, can you see that little square detail to the front? I love that so much. And I think these would be good for um, cropped jeans, so you can see your ankle a little bit, because these are really low, so you do see the ankle. And I think that with straight, kind of like, ripped jeans or something these are going to be really nice and again 16 pounds again these look much more expensive these again are a matte mock crock but on camera they're looking kind of shiny hmm yeah and then the lipstick that i have on and that i've been loving is one that i bought like maybe like two three weeks ago now this is a mac lipstick it's a powder kiss one i feel like Powder Kiss Lipstick from MAC doesn't get enough attention. It's the most prettiest finish ever. It's kind of like a matte, but it's not too full on. And it's more wearable than, say, a liquid lipstick. And yeah, I just love this. This is called Deferted to Chili. And it's just this matte red. I love it. It's really wearable. And I really love it. And then... I just want to talk about this bag and touch upon what I bought at Bista Village. This um, red Prada bag. So glad that I bought this because this has been serving me so well. I've literally used it to death. Like, I've used it so much. It's been my go-to bag, especially when I'm like, out and about. And again, it's coming across quite red and bright. Um, but if you go to my Instagram, then you can see the true colour of this bag. It's like a dark dark red I have to buy some essentials from boots um and i've just put it in this parcel because i went to collect a parcel and i didn't have a bag to put my boot stuff in so i've just shoved it in here and um, so what did i get from boots i've got a l'oreal mascara my friend who uses this and she said it's really good so i want to give it a go this is the l'oreal for you million lashes waterproof one never tried it in my life but my friend's lashes look amazing and Oh, that's my lunch there. Um, on the topic of eyelashes, I still need to film my eyelash growth video. I have been using eyelash serum for two and a half months now and my eyelashes are freaking long. I really want to do an update and show you guys, like zoom you guys in, show the before and after pictures, show what it looks like once I put my mascara on. So that's going to be coming soon guys. And I also bought one of these. I've not heard anyone talk about this, but when I put it on the back of my hands, I was like, oh my gosh, this is just perfect. 
This is by Sup and Glory. It's a powder brow. Um, basically, has anyone seen the new Benefit brow stylus? They have like a pencil on one end and then the other end is like a powder brow. But this is just a powder brow. So this was £8.50. It's quite teeny tiny. It's quite small. But I'm guessing you don't really need to use much. And it's just literally um, a powder. And it is the most easiest thing to use ever. And I swatched it in the back of my hands in boots. And um, there's three colours. There's like blonde, brown, in and like a dark brown. I got the normal brown one. It's such a nice ashy brown. It's not too like orange or warm. And I think this will be good for filling in gaps. And it doesn't smudge as well because when I put it on my hand in boots, um, I came home with it. I've literally just washed my hands, but I came home with it and it was like still perfect. And then I also got a mini Garnier Micellar Water to go in my makeup kit. And then I also got Aiden some of these. These are kitty kind of like cool patches for your head. Well, not your head, Aiden's head. So when he has a fever, um, I cut these up. They're quite big. Like, I think it's way too big for his head. I think, um, yeah, I normally cut it up in half and then I just put it on his head when he has a fever. And I only have, like, one sheet left. So I thought I'd just, like, buy these and put it in my kind of, like, medicine drawer. So, yeah, that's all I have to update you guys on. I just have a package here, which is from Lancome. But I'm not going to unpack this. I'm going to put it on my Instagram stories and try some of the bits. And if there's any bits that I like, then I'll put it in my next vlog. So yeah, that's what I wanted to catch you guys up on. And tomorrow I'm going to be working. Sunday I'm going to be working. And then on Monday, hopefully, chill. I really want to go watch Frozen with Aiden. Aiden loves Frozen. It's like one of his favourite things. He loves Elsa. He, you know, when I went into the, the um, Disney shop with him to buy a new water bottle, I was like, hey, Aiden, like, look at this Toy Story one, look at this Cars one, these are cool. And he was like, but mummy, I don't like that one, I like an Elsa one. And he went for the pink and purple one. So he loves Frozen. So hopefully next week I'm going to find some time to take him to watch Frozen 2. I was actually invited to a screening to watch Frozen 2 before it was released. But it's kind of late, and um, that was the day Aiden's, that was the day of Aiden's photo shoot. So I didn't want to go to London, come home, and then go back out again, like quite late. And yeah, so that's what I have to update you guys on. And yeah, I'll probably speak to you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. I'm just sat in my car trying to warm it up. It is now half past seven. I'm um, just off to do a bridal job yesterday. Oh my gosh, I was so tired. Yesterday morning, I woke up at 4 a.m. and I was in the Dorchester Hotel by half past 6, like a.m. And uh, yeah, so yesterday when I came home, all I did was stay on the sofa. Oh, camera. So yesterday when I came home, all I did was um, stay on the sofa and watch TV. I, like, I didn't even wash the dishes, I didn't do anything. I made myself some food and then I went to sleep. I was that tired and now I'm a bit fresher, a bit more awake uh, and I'm going to go do a bridal job um, which isn't too far it's going to take me about half an hour to get there so it's not that bad considering yesterday it took me about an hour to get to where I needed to be um, yeah oh, it, at least it's like light now yesterday I actually left home like when it's pitch black so yeah let's do this um, I think I have a couple of more a few more yeah a few more bridal jobs for for december and november and then i'm done for like bridal jobs so if you've emailed me or messaged me in regards to wedding makeup then i'll probably get back to you in a couple of days time but just so you know that um for 2019 the diary is like closed there's no more appointments or um, dates that I can do so yeah it'll have to be like 2020 if you're looking for like a trial or something so yeah let's go and morning morning do you have um, almond milk yes yes can I get a almond milk flat white please yes 
I'm not saying thank you. Would you like to try winter roots for your flower? Right? Is uh, that this strong? Uh, no. Uh, which one's stronger? Winter rose. Okay, I'll try the stronger one, please. Yeah. Anything else for you? No, thank you. Drag around. No sugar. Not the sugar. Thank you. Bye. Look out, here she comes.